Hello everyone, welcome to the Canadian Film History Channel, and welcome to the first video today, which is going to be from 1914 to 1928. We will first start in the Ontario Motion Picture Bureau. In 1917, the Ontario Motion Picture Bureau, or OMPB, was established as the first state-sponsored film organization in the world. Its primary objectives were to provide educational films for various groups, such as farmers, factory workers, and school children, as well as advertise Ontario and promote infrastructure projects. The same year, the first movie studio in Canada, Trenton Studios, later known as Adanix Films, opened in Trenton, Ontario. In 1918, the Canadian Government Motion Picture Bureau was also established to promote Canadian trade and industry through film. This bureau lasted longer than the Ontario Bureau. In 1923, the OMPB purchased Trenton Studios and began producing its own films, which reached their peak distribution in 1925 with around 1,500 reels of film per month. At that time, the OMPB used 28mm non-theatrical safety stock, which had lower quality but was less prone to fire hazards compared to 35mm stock. However, in the late 1920s, the OMPB's use of this outdated film stock, along with the forms and content of their films, contributed to the Bureau's decline in relevance as of newer, high, higher quality 16mm film stock became more available. Fast forward to present day and the film industry has undergone some significant changes. Digital technology and video files has largely replaced film on the primary medium for shooting, distributing, and exhibiting movies. Reels of film are no longer as widely used as they once were, although some independent filmmakers and film archives may still utilize film and medium. Additionally, while film festivals and specialty movie theaters may still screen movies on film reels, it is likely that the number of film reels produced per month has significantly decreased in recent years due to the widespread adoption of digital technology. Thank you for listening for my first part video, and please tune in for part 2 on the years, the years of 1929 to 1945, where we will speak more about Canadian film history there. I will see you later.